Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to see if putting gel top coat over regular nail polish works. So the short answer is yes, but there are a few things that you'll want to do that are really important in order to achieve this. Plus at the end of the video, I will be showing you how I remove it. I'm starting out with a nail prep, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is just pushing back my cuticles and scraping off any of that dead skin. Since I am going to be doing this on my natural nails, I'm just going to file them so they look nice and smooth and even, but you can also do this with false nails as well. Finally, I am going to buff all of my nails. This just helps the nail polish stay on better and longer. Then the last thing before I paint my nails, I am just going to wipe down all of my nails with a lint-free wipe using 70% alcohol. You can also use acetone. This does a few things. It gets rid of the nail dust that came from when you were buffing. It also removes natural oils from your nails so that the nail polish stays on longer. And it also just cleans and sanitizes your nails in general before applying the nail polish. The regular nail polish I am going to be using is this OPI kind of off-white pearlescent color. It's super pretty, but it is pretty sheer, so I did have to do three coats. I only filmed me doing two of the coats, um, but just know that I did three, but of course you can do however many you need to. I don't use regular nail polish very often. I do usually use just gel polish, but whenever I do use regular nail polish, I always love using OPI. It just applies really nicely. And by the way, I was painting with my non-dominant hand, so I did struggle a little bit, but I feel like it turned out pretty okay in the end. As you can see, I am moving on to my second coat. You'll just want to make sure that it completely dries in between each coat. I did do my third coat of nail polish off camera and now I'm just waiting for the nail polish to completely dry. It is very, very important that it completely dries before you put the gel top coat on. If you apply the gel top coat and cure it and you notice that the nail polish is wrinkling underneath, then that means you did not wait long enough for it to dry. I probably waited around 30 minutes for the nail polish to dry, but it really depends on the brand of nail polish you have and also if it's humid or dry in your room and just what the temperature is in your room. Um, that all really depends on how long you'll have to wait for it to dry, but you'll just want to touch it and see if it is completely dry. So now for applying the gel top coat, I am using this Amelia gel top coat. My favorite one is Beetles, but I am running out of that, so I just decided to use the Millie one. So I'm just going to apply that to all of my nails. If you want to, you can always just do one nail and test cure it to see if it actually works for the brand of nail polish you're using because I've only tried this with OPI and Sally Hansen, so I don't know if it works for every single nail polish. So you could definitely do a test on just one of your nails or like a swatch stick or a fake nail before you go to all the work and apply the nail polish onto your nails and then come to find out that it doesn't work. Um, so that is definitely an idea, but I do know it works for Sally Hansen and OPI and I'm sure plenty of other nail polish brands as well. As always, if you do accidentally get any gel polish on your skin, just make sure to clean it up with acetone before curing it. For the curing time, just follow the directions on the gel polish top coat you're using, but I always do 120 seconds just to be completely sure that everything is completely cured. 
Here is how they turned out. You definitely can't tell that there is regular nail polish underneath it. It just looks like a regular gel polish manicure and I really, really like it. So don't go yet because now I'm going to show you how I remove these nails. The removal process is very similar to if you were just removing a regular gel polish manicure, except it is easier because you're only having to remove the top coat and not several layers of gel polish, and the regular nail polish can obviously just come off with acetone. So I'm just starting out with filing off the gel top coat with my 100-180 grit file. This is what they look like after I filed them. Now I'm going to take some acetone and put some on a cotton ball. And I have these little nail clips. I'm just going to clip the cotton ball onto the nail with the acetone. And since I already filed off most of the gel polish top coat, I didn't really have to wait that long. I probably just waited like five minutes and then they were ready for the next step. And now I'm just gently scraping off the rest. Sometimes there's a little bits and pieces still left on the nail, which you can easily remove with a buffer, so I'm just going to lightly buff my nails. Finally, I'm just going to apply some cuticle oil. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you want to try this out or if you already have. Make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for weekly nail videos. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!